Welcome back, sir. How has it been? It's been terrific. Good. How are your feet feeling? Much better. Oh, they look so much better. Good. And so you're back to work? Yes. And on them. All right, I got some good news for you. After I clean up some of this dry skin, you won't have to do any more dressings. Okay. Is that good? Now, what's your blood sugar been doing? Um, this is better in range. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right, you can put them flat for me. Good. So better in range. Give me an average. Um, like maybe one thirty-five. Okay. That is good stuff. And how was your other trip? Oh, it was great. Any hot tubs there? No, not at all. <laughs> You pretty much done with hot tubs. Right. The only water was the shower. Good, good. I like that a lot. So yeah, this is stable, healed. Yep, no complaints. So the only thing I want you doing at home from this point is um painting them with a little bit of betadine. Okay. Um I'm gonna send some betadine swabs with you. Are you allergic to iodine? I should check with that first. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, this is good, very good. Oh, you are so fortunate here. Yeah, I think so. Yes, sir. All healed up. Yep. Very good. So today we'll be able to, um, we'll soak the right foot and we'll still do dry pity on the left foot. And then next visit, you'll get to enjoy water on both. So you've been using your nail mycosis on your nails? Um, yes. Yeah. All right. You know, I like for y'all to do that every night. I know sometimes life gets hectic and you're not able to do it every night. Mm -hmm. But every other night we can okay. um, we can do. Um, that helps a lot of that fungal debris under the nail to soften. Mm -hmm. And then we're able to um, clip it out. So the more of that that we take out, the better um, the results at returning the nails to their natural okay. appearance. Um, did you ever have any pain in your toes with this? No. Good. But that's secondary to your neuropathy. Right. <laughs> good, good. All right, and what kind of shoes have you been wearing to work? Oh, um, steel toe shoes. Okay. Very good. I was just concerned about it. What you concerned about? That might be on this side. It started to bleed under the nail, so. Did you hit it or bump it? You know, I was that skin. Um, so I had a Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to thin it out a little more again today. Most of that nail is dead, devitalized because of the fungus. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to thin some more of that out. What happens when they grow so thick like this, it makes pressure underneath the nail. Mm -hmm. And so it can kind of spring a leak of blood because of that. Um, I am going to use some gentle e-filing and clean up some more of the skin, but I am very pleased at how this is looking. You working today? I am. Okay. I'm so glad I found you. Yeah, I'm glad you found me too. Very good. That's why I try to do as many of those community um, events that they have to get the word out about what we do. Um, I'm working on displaying more of our work there mm -hmm. so people know. And then they think, oh, I'm not diabetic, but we take care of so much more. And I gained my passion from this. Um, I don't know if we talked about that I used to work as a wound care nurse when I was a nurse. Okay. And um, the majority of the wounds in the hospital were um, bed sores. Um, and surgical wounds. And so when I became a nurse practitioner, um, they made a position for me in the wound clinic. And so when I got over there, the majority of those wounds were diabetic foot ulcers, of course, and venous leg ulcers. So what I was finding every day, I was um, 
you know, dealing with people's feet and seeing the condition that their nails were in. And so that's how I kind of started a little diabetic foot clinic there. And that was back in 2016, 17, around there. Oh. And so um, all the diabetics, of course, I would just trim their nails. And then it turned into all the wound patients. We heard you could trim nails, would you help us out? And so there I would just do trimming and a little bit of simple e-filing. But, um, you know, anything to keep their feet safe. And so when I started to work on my doctorate, my quality improvement project was diabetic limb salvage through foot care. Huh. So I started a little clinic. Um, and if you were diabetic and had had a wound on your foot, I never discharged you. I brought you in every... Um, 30 to 90 days, depending on, you know, circulation or whatever. And I would um, trim your toenails, take off calluses, look at your shoes, make sure everything was appropriate so that you wouldn't get a wound on your foot. And during the life of that study, um, we had no amputations. Um, so we decreased our amputation rate in that wound clinic. Um, almost a hundred percent. And then, you know, some of my diabetics are just prone to wounds because of the anatomy of their feet. But if we get on top of the wound quicker, you know, if you get the wound to turn around in 30 days, you're likely to salvage that limb. But once they take the toe, then it's likely you're going to suffer the leg being amputated. And then, you know, eight to ten years that patient usually isn't alive anymore so we try our best to prevent um, amputations with wounds some of our patients there had wounds for years but they still had their limb so even if it meant coming to the wound clinic two to three times a week we were doing everything we could to salvage that we used a lot of um, hyperbaric oxygen um, you ever heard the Michael Jackson chamber? <laughs> That's what people say. But, um, you know, we put them in that and um, increase the oxygen flow at the wound. Um, and that would help it to heal a whole lot better. Um, we did things like special tissues, like animal tissue, embryo cells. We would put those on the wounds to kind of help them close. We did casting, I mean, just a number of things. Um, we worked closely with the vascular surgeon um, to make sure we had adequate blood flow. And remember, I was telling you, I don't know if you remember, on the first visit, your pulses are extremely strong and that has worked in your favor um, with your wounds. So I'm very happy about that. Good. And so, Shoes, tell me, uh, you know, in your leisure, what kind of shoes do you normally wear? Um, Just maybe, everyday shoes? Uh, probably sneakers or uh, a cross. Okay, what kind of sneakers are those? Nike. Nike. All right, so Nike's tend, you don't have a very wide foot, that's good, but the more space you can have in your toe box is going to work in your favor because okay. that decreases friction. New Balance has really come up. They, I know that you're younger um, and want a more stylish shoe. New Balance has a lot of more stylish shoes as opposed to the old New Balance with the head to the end on the side. <laughs> so I would prefer you wear something like that. Like the shoes you have today, they're a little bit too flat. You need a little more support underneath your foot. But um, New Balance is good. Sketches is good. I know you might feel like you're too young for sketches. <laughs> but they make really good supportive shoes. And then I like, I, the next visit when you come, I want you to bring your steel toes that you wear to work. Oh, those just, oh, okay, okay. Can you get those with a little more support? Can you get those in a sketcher? Okay. That would be good. Okay. So if you could work in sketchers, and play in New Balance, mm -hmm. you see what we did. Yeah. 
So um, when you got those, you just kind of, they had certain cheese you could pick yeah. from. Okay. I got another one with the beef, though. Okay. It, is it from a catalog or a website? Maybe you can check. Okay. If you take pictures, then I can help make recommendations. Those okay. gonna be more supportive. Okay. Those well, are very stylish to say they're steel toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get. I have a thermometer here that tells me what water temperature is safe. The National Diabetes Association recommends water temperature of 100 degrees. Yeah. Um, but diabetics are only to have their feet soaked in a controlled environment like this. That's not something you do at home. Because like when you have wounds, cracks, even a, a lifted toenail, like you have, water can penetrate under that. So when we soak you, it's only for a short period of time. The temperature is regulated and then we're going to ensure that there is no water left on your foot anywhere. So that is why we teach diabetics not to soak their feet. Even when you get in the shower at home, you should be testing the water, you know, with your forearm before you step into the shower. Because remember, you don't have a lot of sensation in your feet. And so you would you'd be burned by the time you realize. But we've got a very good plan. You've done really good here. And I'll show you how to apply the beta 9 after the assistant gets done cleaning you up. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put your right foot in the water. Good. And we're going to leave the left foot if you want to stretch it out or whatever you can. Okay. We're going to do a short soak, and then the, my assistant will come in and clean you up. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing a little dry mask on this foot. So I'm gonna take the scrub and just scrub it on like a mask. I'm gonna stay away from his wounds even though I feel like they are right and they could they could take a little scrubbing. Yeah, they can. So I'm gonna go between his toes. I don't do too much on the toenails because it's hard to clean it out of the toenails when it's a dry foot. You can give me the other foot if you Okay, now that we have you all cleaned up, um, I'm going to send some Betadine swab sticks home with you. Um, and all you're going to do in the morning before work, at night after your shower, apply Betadine to this little dry area right here. Um, Betadine is just going to help that dry out a little more. And then um, at one of your visits, I'll be able to get it to lift even further. But that is it. Mm. This is much better, my friend. Yes. Yeah, so just a little, let's see a little piece of skin there I can get. Yeah, so what the Betadine does, it'll dry that skin so that I can finish debriding it appropriately. Okay. But you are healed, healed. I like the looks of that. What questions do you have? Um, nothing really. I'm just pleased at the outcome. Good, good. Better get on so bad I found it because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I know you were scared. You were scared.
But yeah, that is very good. All right, good. And then like I was telling you, these little drops, we're gonna do one drop on the big toe, rub it in, mm -hmm. share it with the second, a drop on the third, and share it with four and five. Do that every night after your shower. And that's gonna help us finish killing this fungus. Bring this one over. You can set it right here. Yeah. That'll help us um, finish getting this fungus cured. All right, any questions? No. All right, that betadine stains, mm -hmm. so just be careful. Um, just, you know, know that your socks, but I want this open to air, no dressing. Okay. All right.